turn the projector on and that's going to uh, give us an illumination. It's kind of imagine a Leco, right? A projector lens, so projecting an image onto her. Now, another key here is to not project onto the background at the same time. Uh, this bright projector image that we're going to project onto her is going to be the brightest thing in frame and it's going to draw our eye directly to that. If that's also on the background, it's going to, uh, we're gonna lose what kind of that, that sight of what we're searching for in the frame. So uh, let me hit it on really quick. Power. Okay, here it comes. Let's just, just for now, can we turn off that red one in the background? Yep. Okay, uh, we wanna bring our talent, Kira here, far enough from the background so that the angle of our projector doesn't project onto the background. So we're at about a 45 degree angle here. Uh, if she was too close to the background, the angle would fall and uh, project onto that background there. So by pulling them forward here uh, and choosing a placement that's further from that backdrop, it's going to allow us to kind of skip this down onto the ground rather than on the wall, creating separation. And then uh, lighting our talent, we talked about that. We talked about how we're doing our uh, complementary colors, our co those contrasting colors to separate her already from the background. And now we're adding the projector and uh, Lighting the projector, we're, we have to decide what we want to project onto her. Like in the reference, we did uh, the lyrics, uh, but basically anything that's kind of blocky and uh, really kind of thick and allows a, a bright source. If something's too thin, it's not gonna give you enough illumination, especially if you're using a cheaper projector. So the most important thing here is to keep this projector off of the background and then uh, creating, let's go kind of dive into the computer here. Uh, if we go into After Effects or Premiere or basically anywhere where you can uh, edit or create images, uh, the world is your oyster as to what you can project, right? So um, here I have some, uh, some words in different fonts. So if we do this one and you can move stuff around. So, you know, like if I just wanted to move that there, I could have Lost on her face, right? And it's this cool kind of mysterious vibe or we could full screen that and make it bigger uh, and we're projecting onto that dark side of her face here um, I should just roll this I'm gonna roll a and roll B are we focused on this cool all right and then um, let's see what are we getting here I feel like we're a little low uh, there we go. Okay, uh, but then you can also animate stuff too. So you can have stuff moving around. And this is something that you can do on your own. You don't need like a DMX operator. You don't need uh, anything special other than a laptop with an HDMI cable and a projector. Uh, so then we can go in, we can have a whole block of text here, right? So if this is the lyrics to the song, we're now seeing those projected onto her. And as you can see here, it's, this is a big projection but we have the projector far enough away from the wall and at the right angle so that it's not uh, blasting onto that back wall. Uh, I've seen a ton of videos where the person stands right against the wall, there's words on them, there's words on the wall, and there's no separation, and you kind of get lost in the image. But there's a time and a place for everything, so experiment and see what you like the best. I'm just giving you the tools to work with.